Good morning, guys. So welcome to today. Is it a happy day? No. Why is it not a happy day? Because I have to do dishes. Yeah, because we do chores. Sometimes we do chores. Um, during the school year, girls do a lot of chores. Is it a happy day? Yeah, it's still a happy day. I have to do chores every day. Look at my outfit. I'm wearing blue. Blue. Oh, I even have a blue water bottle. Yeah. Wow, you do match. Is I'm matching Scott's baby pad because I'm going to put it over top. Yeah, we got some comments saying, don't use two saddle pads, but we'll have to explain that when we're at the barn. Like thin. Yeah. Yeah, so um, basically the saddle pad that she has right now is two saddle pads together, just sewn together. Anyway, um, welcome to today. Today is all about going to the barn after taking a break because of... Oh, the heat. The heat. Exacto knife. Exacto knife. I've, been I've never funny. ever had one before. I know. Gabby's like me. I found an exacto knife yesterday at the dollar store and I'm like, ooh, I'm buying that. Because there's so many things you can do with an exacto knife. And then I show Gabby and she's like, it's mine. And we both you said. Want, we both want to just make stuff. Like, I don't know what we're going to so use it you for. you said, hey, Gabby, do you want this? And I'm like, no. And you're like, well, I'm getting it anyway. Yeah, I did. I'm like, should I, I buy this? An exact and she's like, no. And I'm like, I'm getting it anyway. Um, Millie Robinson says, hey, can you update us on the bunnies? Um, do you have any news on the baby bunnies that you gave to a subscriber? I do, actually. And I keep forgetting. I wanted to tell you guys. So, be a um, so basically, one litter of the baby bunnies that we had were all girls. There were four of them. Four, I think and they were all girls and they were really young it was hard to tell and we gave them to one of our subscribers and we said I think they're all girls like I'm pretty sure it's really hard to tell and she messaged in one of our vlogs recently it's hard to it's hard to find you guys like if you leave a message sometimes they get past me but anyway she said that she's loving them and they've been amazing and that one was a boy <laughs> So yeah, she had a baby bunny, one baby bunny, but yeah, so they're doing really well. She's really happy with them, and one is a boy. Okay, so Gabby tells me that there's this challenge going around, and that she's going to try it. Basically, only girls can do it, she said. Okay, so you stand with your body against the wall, your butt pushed against the wall. And heels. And heels. And then you lean forward with a chair in front of you, and then you pick it up. Yeah, this one's a heavy-ish chair. It's heavier than the school one. Okay, try it. So it's a heavier chair than in the video. Mm -hmm. I bet you I could do it. Three, two, one, go! <laughs> and the yeah, goal is to still stay by the wall? Like, okay, let me try it. Yeah. Okay. Okay, let's help you try. <coughs> All the kids at home will be trying this now. But, yeah. Usually Bye. you use a lighter chair, she said. <laughs> okay, try me. In toes. Oh my gosh, I can't even do it at all. I'm about to fall. <laughs> Three, two, one. Oh, oh. <laughs> no. If you can do that challenge, send us a video on Instagram so we can see. Do it at school. <laughs> yeah, do it at school with the little chairs. Yes. But don't get caught. Within, you'll find it within. 
she might feel the same Get out there, get your shit together Then you can say at least I've tried With the first step It's always something, there's always something in the way Million excuses to take But once you get there, it'll be worth that little while It's better to try and fall, than not to try at all She might feel the same, get out there, get your shit together Then you can say at least I've tried With the first step I've never been closer The daydream every day As I'm getting older With the first step Because Stella is so chubby, it makes fitting her really difficult. And when Sophie gets riding, the side, the saddle slips, the saddle pad slips, everything slips because it just doesn't fit. You know what it's like, you girls that have clothes that don't fit. Mom, I almost got. Um, that happens to me. I almost got the side to hold too. Yeah. So, so Sophie's using her out. new Lemieux Lemie saddle pad, and Gabby's it. using hers too. Look at her matching. You should wear a pink shirt today, Sophie. So what's all this stuff on the ground about? So um, there's gonna be a lot of changes now that school is getting back in. Our whole entire schedule will change. Like right now we ride at just crazy times, but when school starts, um, our schedule will be completely different. We'll still have our lessons every week, all three of us. And then we'll still have to come five days a week um, to exercise Stella. So we'll be fitting all that into our homeschool schedule. So uh, some days we'll be here first thing in the morning, go home and do homeschool. Other days we will do homeschool and then come to the barn. But um, yeah, our schedule is all about to change and be completely different, just like it changed from last year to summer schedule. We're going back to fall, you guys. And it feels like fall today. So cool, it's like a fall day today. Also, um, so you guys know, we've been talking about how Gabby has to have a sheepskin saddle pad against her horse. Um, Today she's wearing a baby pad, which is like smaller than a ha smaller than a saddle pad, um, over top of the sheepskin. And we actually did buy a sheepskin specifically to go under a saddle pad if she wanted to wear a different one. But I don't think that's gonna work. We just like this is not gonna work. So probably what we're gonna do is um, just keep doing what she's doing now with the two saddle pads. Put the um, colored ones over top of the other one. I know a lot of you guys think that that's not cool, it's not the right way, but that's probably what we're gonna end up doing. I was just looking at the Lemieux uh, saddle pad thing and it says that um, it controls sweat, absorbing more moisture than pure cotton or polyester fibers. So uh, maybe Storm will be able to actually just wear this. It's also made out of bamboo, which I was just made aware that I'm killing panda bears because we took their food to make a saddle pad, but it wasn't me, you guys, it was not me. She's killing panda bear. Yeah. She's a panda bear. Right <laughs> yeah. For all of you guys that have been saying, it's gonna happen, it's just gonna happen, and I keep saying the girth is not changing, the girth is not changing, like, I'm feeling frustrated. I was gonna tell you guys, the girth changed in a massive way. So not only is she not wearing a girth extender anymore, uh, we got it on the third hole, easily. 
easy. Right? Usually what happens with her is I can barely get it in, like to get it even on the first hole. And this time, it's just like a regular horse now. It just sits there. It just slides up through it, like shocking. If you haven't hugged your pony lately, hug your pony. National Hug Your Pony Day. No, really? National no. Kiss Your Pony on the Lips Day. It should be. National <laughs> Kiss Your Pony. <laughs> so proud of you, Stella. So much love. So much love for these ponies. Um, so we said we were able to send a picture of Stella trotting today to our vet, and guess what he said? She's perfect. She's beautiful and she's doing amazing. Guys. National kissing on the lips day. Hey. Yuck. Yeah. I love my you. My lips went in her mouth. Your lips went into her mouth? That's my just lip. disgusting. My Daddy, kiss her on the lips. I did. Okay. She's trying to teach him. Come on, kiss. He doesn't know that. Come now on, you are a husband from, and from wife. Kiss. So when Gabby gives him a treat. From kiss. <laughs> He's like licking his lips. When Gabby gives him a treat, uh, she always puts it on the ground so he doesn't get pushy with um, treats. So now she can hold a treat in her hand and he'll look at the treat and put his like, head on this. the ground. He'll look at the treat and he'll go, where is it? And then he puts his head down on the ground. Uh, to tell her to put the treat down there so that she can get it. He's really, he's so smart. I can't believe it. And don't forget to make sure to hit that subscribe button down below.